Whoa guys, what is up Mike here and welcome to the final episode of Pokemon Emerald Kaizo Nuzlocke. How did it end? See for yourself. Time for the final badge. Who wants to start off with Kingdra and Lapras? So I start off with Rage and Scrambled. You know, my Gyarados and Exeggutor. Yeah, you may remember them. I easily take down the Kingdra with one double edge and the Lapras with one egg bomb. Outcome Cash Form and Lantern. So I switch to Finn. Um, but something bad happens. Cash Form sure goes down to one egg bomb. But and Vaporeon comes out next, but Lantern somehow outspeeds and kills Finn, even though it's like 22 levels higher than it. Rip Finn, you were always there with us since the beginning. You'll be missed a lot, buddy. Goodbye. Yeah. But anyways, I decided to pull myself up and bring out Mr. Krabs too. While Scramble takes down the Vaporeon with one last egg bomb. I said one last egg bomb be because it's at low health. I need to switch it out. But Lantern hits Thunder on Mr. Krabs too and she too dies. How does it outspeed so much? I don't know. Goodbye, dude. So I switch to Banana and Noctowl. Banana finally takes down the Lantern with a Giga Drain and Noctowl takes down the Ludicolo with one last Sky Attack and we win against Juan and get the final badge. Now, we can go to the Victory Road and then the League. I'm very tense for this one though and I'm also very excited and let's see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Sorry. Next I find a Trico. Um, a level 70 Trico, yeah, you get starters at Evergrande City and catch it. I obviously name it Savage after myself because it's my favorite Pokemon, it's quite obvious and it's my channel. You know what, let's just continue. Time to battle Wally. He starts off with Meganium, so I use Noctowl and take it to half health with a single sky attack as it uses an ancient power. But another sky attack easily takes it out. Thank god it did not get the boost with the ancient power or else I'm pretty sure it should have killed my Noctowl. Next he sends out Hypno Hitmontop so I use extra sensory to flinch it and another extra sensory takes it out. Vaporeon comes out next so I switch to Scrambled and use Egg Bomb after it uses Ice Beam on me. Raichu comes out next so I switch to Banana. And Raichu takes me to almost half of my health with a hidden power. And I take it to orange health with an earthquake. Another hidden power and another earthquake later, Raichu faints. Next up is his Gardevoir, his strongest wannabe strongest Pokemon. <laughs> and I use Rage to easily take it out with two double edges. As it is silly enough to go for a calm mind even though I'm a physical attacker. Last is his Blissey and I use a super power from a Azumarill, but it freaking survives with a quarter of health and finishes it off with a counter. Rip buddy. Then I pull out my own Gardevoir and finish it off with two Psychics. Rip Aria. You will be missed. Time to battle Red. He starts off with his Ho-Oh and I start off with Rage and I get a lucky critical hit with a Surf and another Surf. Takes it down, which was really awesome because it hit me with a massive sky attack. Next up is Selby, which hits an ancient power, and I miss my bounce. And I thought that I had to sacrifice Rage, but I somehow survive the next bounce, and I easily take down this I mean, the next ancient power, sorry, and I easily take down this Selby. Phew, that was close. Lapras is out next, and it's obvious, Scrambled comes out and takes it down with one egg bomb. Next up is his fat bastard, the Snorlax. And I switch to Fields so that I can put it to sleep with Hypnosis and deal some minor chip damage. But after many turns of stowing me, Snorlax phew, finally goes down. Phew, another close call. Mew comes out next and I switch to Noctowl since my Noctowl is very bulky and it, it is bulky, it takes two psychics and 
two recoils from Sky Attack. Impressive, buddy. That was awesome. Then I switched to Banana with surprisingly Tank Psychic and two Heat Waves. And finishes me off with another Giga Drain. Phew. Last up is his Dragonite, which goes to half health with a Poison Tail from Queen and hits it with a massive Earthquake. But I managed to survive and take it out with the final Poison Tail. And I win this goddamn battle. Red, you're dead. And I've defeated you in your final battle. That was really intense. What the hell? No! No way! So I basically got wiped out by Winstrate Vito at Victory Road because I had Pokemon at low health and no potions to heal. So the run is officially over. And I won't be continuing this game because I'll explain that in another, another video. So yeah, the run's over. Bye.